Hello. Eight international film festival for, for children and young people took place in Armenia and within the scope of the festival, a very new and interesting and exciting project, Sina Spider Kids, was introduced. We are talking about this project with a special guest from Sweden, Annette, and with Hasmik, who is one of the co-founders. Uh, thank you for joining CivilNet. Um, you were invited by the festival to come and join this initiative to be kind of an expert coming from a background of uh, experience in working in collaborative platform, co-production and everything else. Um, please tell us what is your experience in connection with this. Yes, my connection is that uh, Cine Spider Kids is a new in initiative also establishing a platform for industry professionals working on contents for kids. And this is what I do in Scandinavia. We have a, now a huge platform that each year gather all uh, producers and investors at one point uh, talking about new ideas for kids content for the screen. Oh, where did the idea of Sinus Spider start? And what were the steps you took to come to this point of establishing and launching a huge project? Well, at the moment we just started with a small part of that future, I hope, huge project, which will be called Cine Spider Film Forums. And this year, uh, thanks to the festival who provided this floor to us, we could make the pilot of Cine Spider Kids, which is one branch of the whole Cine Spider. And the idea is, in future, to, to, have, to, to give to local and regional producers more possibilities to introduce their projects, especially in such specific fields like kids' films or fil films about kids, and uh, in future also about females and some other issues as well. So basically what we did this time for, for the Cine Spider pilot, we, we had our special guest and advisor, Annette, who, with whom we brainstormed a lot and discussed the future possibilities and how to, to build the whole platform so that it is very beneficial for, for the producers, so that it opens more possibilities, more co cooperation and co-production possibilities for them within the region and internationally. And then we also had some panel discussions with people from the industry and to listen also what are their needs, what, what are the problems that we all face here, so that to address somehow the forum to, to those needs and to try to, to somehow help and encourage the production of these films. Having your experience, can you please tell us what is the importance of co-production and also having a collaborative space where producers, filmmakers come and produce content? What is the importance of all these processes? Um, the results from our work the previous seven or eight years shows clearly that it is almost impossible nowadays to finance a film uh, only by your own country's contribution. So you simply need to co-produce in order to raise enough money to produce films for the cinema and yet uh, later other platforms. And this is why we need this uh, collaboration space uh, in order to uh, collect enough investors, enough broadcasters and also uh, we have a very sophisticated target group children of today is very, very uh, good at understanding content for all platforms, gaming, internet, online, as well as going to the cinema and seeing TV and on their tablets. So we need to be ahead of them in order to be able to still intrigue them in the future. This is why we need to talk together. Uh, about talking together, uh, what is the importance you see in regional work in terms of having a lot of close borders with our neighbors, but having art and film as a medium of connection and bridging these gaps and everything else? Please tell us how you see this as a possibility. Exactly, even with closed borders we cannot um, reject that we, we share a lot of common culture with the, with the neighbor countries. And, inter and that is something very important for also co-production and collaboration within the cinema field. 
And I, I do believe that we have a lot of stories to share with neighbor countries, and that would open a lot of new possibilities, which unfortunately we don't have a lot now. Uh, and it's not about only um, about kids' content, but in general, we don't really have a lot of co-production of films or um, audiovisual content within the region. So we, we really believe that this would open a lot of new possibilities. What is your educational background, film industry? Uh, yes, uh, I, I did my master studies in film and media producing in Sweden, in Malmo, mm -hmm. and <laughs> that is where I had the chance to get to know Annette and Financing Forum for Kids Content, and also ha ha had a chance to, to do my internship there which gave a lot of experience, a lot of new ideas, and those experiences already discussing here within our situation, together with the co-founder of Cinespider, with Armine, and that we came to this idea that we should maybe try to build a similar network here and to open all these networking opportunities. I am very, very proud to be asked to uh, be their mentor or advisor, supervisor. Um, the financing forum uh, at an earlier point did not have a slot for internship, but then I met Hasmik and after a coffee meeting we all of a sudden had an internship <laughs> post <laughs> that she filled out very well. And this is how our friendship uh, started. And uh, I um, understood very well from what Hasmik told me about this region and uh, from her talent and uh, her skills that this would be a very, very interesting uh, field for us to, to collaborate with. Uh, of course, it's not, um, it's not co-production wise that we can come here and all of a sudden have a, have a lot of co-production. This must start. But I think that we can find a lot of talent and that we can um, get ideas to think in another way because it does not have a long tradition. So when you start out with, with, a, with a, out from here uh, and are not bound from things you learned earlier, that can create a really new way of thinking, thinking outside the box. This is what I expect a lot from this collaboration. So it's a feedback, it's a win-win situation. I don't have any film industry experience, nothing like that. So please explain to me what is the process? Or what is the process of co-producing a content, especially for kids? Where do you start from? Where is the ending point? What steps do you take along the way? Usually it starts with a, with a creative head. It could be a director, but it could also be a producer that comes up with a good idea that uh, would fit uh, a child uh, or, or children's as audience. And uh, the creative uh, goes to a producer and they make up a collaboration and start to raise the money. The money is a huge issue. We need the money to raise the standard of the productions. And this is uh, then what, why they come to the Financing Forum for Kids Content, to present the idea and to tell the investors we need this kind of money to cover the budget. When they have covered the budget for, uh, gov from governmental subsidies mostly in, in our region, uh, they go into production and uh, this could take some, uh, some months or up to a year maybe and then they go to post-production and after that it is a process in itself to market and di distribute the film. Uh, you mentioned that uh, at this point Sign Spider is still a small project but you have big aims for it, you have um, big ideas. Uh, what do you see as a future for such a project and what will be the challenges you anticipate that you will be facing? Well, first of all I think that um, some of the challenges are that um, it is really difficult to start something new and uh, the, these two days showed that we really need to, to have a lot of meetings and to listen a lot to people who are actually trying to do something in, in the industry, to our producers and directors, and to share and brainstorm together and come to the uh, 
to, to, to building the format that will really work also because uh, from country to country we're all different in our mentality, in our traditions and ways of doing things so we should probably find the recipe for the real um, film forum in our region to see what would work the best for, for the region to encourage more and to, to engage people and to, to, so that they, they really want to work with each other to join the forum to bring something new from them and then also to see what is uh, and I believe there is a lot specific about this region that can attract also international film professionals to, to come here, to look for projects, to bring their projects here, to look for talent from here. So it's, it's a lot of possibilities. And we, we really see that there is a, a big gap that needs to be filled in because, to be very honest, I think you also know and the audience would also agree that we don't really produce a lot of kids' content today or it's easier to say that we produce very little kids content and there are a lot of stories and there is a lot of need of that because as Annette mentioned today we deal really with with a generation which knows a lot which is very well used to digital technologies and a lot of things and they need content which would address it which addresses their needs great Thank you very much for this uh, talk and I really wish Sign and Spider all the success and all the ideas and the aims you have to be there for you. Thank you very much. Thank you for following CivilNet.